Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Friday. Friday the 7th. I love Friday. It's, every week is Christmas for me on a Friday. I just like look forward to the weekend so much. And I'm always so busy, but it doesn't matter. At least, you know, it's sort of time out that you're enjoying doing time with friends. I get to do face-to-face -face readings on weekends too, which is really nice. Now, somebody asked me about the cards that I use. Sorry, I can't remember who it was. But cards I use when I'm doing the weekly reads. Um, that I, You know how I put up the Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn cards. They are those ones. They're from the Astrology. Let me do a bit closer. Astrology reading cards. Now, they come when you get them, they have all the star signs and all the planets in there. So... Um, a quick show, show and tell here. So I have like the set the houses and the um, planets and then the star signs. And I bought them purely to use for the star signs, but I'm sure that they're a good pack for using or a good deck for using for all those other things. So whoever was asking me, it's called the Astrology Reading Tarot and it's by Richard Crooks and Alison Chester Lambert. So hopefully you'll be able to get, a, get one. All right, let's get on with your reading. Well, let's give the cards a bit of a shuffle first. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. We continue to grow daily. It's a, it's a very exciting adventure for me. Um, I would like to say if you want personal readings or you want to donate to my channel, I'm happy to accept donations too. Um, all via my website www.theaussiegoddess.com um, you can pick whatever you want in the way of readings and you get a YouTube video just like this one um, for 30 Australian dollars I may have to increase the price on them as we're going because I'm doing a lot for overseas and they come through PayPal and every time I, I do one there's a charge for that so um, what else? What else was it? What else? <laughs> I think that's it. I'll stop gabbering for the day. Okay, let's see what's happening. Very nice. We have the Empress out for you today. So the energy you're carrying around today is that of the Empress. Now, we love the Empress. She is the woman that embodies every good thing about every good woman. She's beautiful. She's loving, kind, motherly. She is ready to birth new ideas um, and ready to birth babies as well. So this is a time of fertility. We've seen her a couple of times in the last few days. So I'd say that she's, um, for some of you people, if you're trying for babies, now's a good time. Okay, so the first card we have out is Temperance. Now, I'm loving Temperance coming out all the time because it's telling me that the time is very good. Well, the time is ripe. We can see that with the Empress at the moment. Um, well, it's right and it's ripe. Um, <laughs> we can see it with the Empress at the moment. So that's really good. So things should be starting to move along and should be turning in your favour. The Temperance is about balance. It's about bringing balance in, but it's also divine timing here. She's beautiful in that card. I want to spend a lot of time talking about the cards, but I don't like to keep the readings going forever. Then we have the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with someone who's very emotionally available for you. Um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who's very loving and kind and maybe psychic as well. Then we have the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords can talk about uh, theft, deceit. Um, can also talk about... Like escaping, moving away. There's a lot of re reasons for that coming out. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone's definitely coming in to make you an offer here. The time's right. Timing's right for this. Divine timing is here. Someone's feeling very lusty and loving. But I don't know how they're going about this here. But that's a very slow-moving energy, the Knight of Pentacles, too. Okay, we have the Three of Wands. This talks about looking out waiting for your ships to come in waiting for something to come in over the divine timing card so i think you guys have been waiting a long time for this especially with this knight of pentacles here very slow energy okay then we have the five of pentacles so i think that you've almost given up if you haven't given up altogether um this is about feeling quite spiritually low and sort of fed up and then we have the five of cups what a sad reading this morning this talks about looking back at the past and regrets. 
I look, I think when I read this, I, it feels to me like some of you may have had some betrayal here. Some of you have felt like you were really betrayed by someone. Now, when I say that, sometimes I look at the Seven of Swords and I think it is a quite a dark card. But I don't know whether you're con concentrating too much on what happened rather than moving forward here. Because for me, with this Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and then this Seven of Swords card, there's this real energy that you're stuck. You're stuck looking back at the past here. And we've seen such a forward movement lately. It's great to see people understanding that this energy doesn't allow you to go anywhere. I think it's been such a long time coming that people are giving up, which is fine. Um... But the whole idea is about faith and trust and understanding the universe is up to something. Okay, we have the Page of Swords here. He's beautiful on this card. Look at him. Um, and he talks about receiving a message, a message of truth, something that will bring clarity. Oop, two cards is too many. And then we have the Four of Swords. So this is about waiting. Waiting. Doing a good, taking time out, having a really good rest and waiting patiently. And then we have the Knight of Cups with the offer. So let's do a recap here. What we have here is we have Temperance and Divine Timing tell me that whatever you're waiting on is not far away. Whatever you've been waiting on is not far away. It is a very slow moving energy here. Um, we have a, you know, an offer of something coming into you. But because it's been so slow, you've almost given up on it. Yeah, it's really funny. It's like jobs. You know when you're waiting for a job to come in and you think, oh, I couldn't have got that because it's taken so long, it's never going to happen. But then all of a sudden it comes in and you're like, golly, people take a long time to make their minds up. Sometimes three or four months and they get back to you and you've already moved on. And that's what it feels like here. It could be relationship too, because there's a lot of relationship cards here as well. But there's somebody coming in after somebody's been waiting a really long time. They've either forgotten about this person or they totally had given up on this person ever coming back. So um, it doesn't matter whether it's job, relationship, business, could be a family member even here with the way the cards are. Somebody's coming back to to put things straight, put the record straight. Um, could be an apology, but this feels more like somebody's done something to you that's left you really out in the cold and very unhappy with something. Um, the only card that's really dominant for me here is the Queen of Cups, so I really feel it could have been a water sign. Um, could have been an earth sign with a knight, but this feels more like the energy of someone coming in to offer you something. This definitely means like it's the end of this sad time. Um, I th yeah, to me, you just moved on from this. It's like you've given up on something and moved on. And the moment you've given up and you've let go of the reins, in it's come, which is generally how it happens. That's why I would say to people, if you want it bad enough, give up on it, go about your life, just let it go. Because the best way is to cut your energy off from the other person. If this is about work, job, business, something is on its way to you people. Something is coming in here with this offer. Um, but as I said, for some of you, this is about family disputes and people wanting to... Now I remember why I didn't use a Thelema Tarot. Look at the glare on those decks. I remember putting it away and thinking I needed to put it away, but I thought I'd just um, put it away because I was wanting a change. But now I look, I think that's what it was. It was all about that glare. I have ordered a new light. I have to do things as I can afford to. So the the light will, will hopefully come from a different angle so it may not be so shiny as the overhead light. But let's see how that goes. Wow. You don't want to give me a card from this deck either this morning. Being a bit tight there. Come on. No. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, how funny. The card that's come out from the Karma deck is the North Node card. And it's talking about having faith in and not worrying about. And now it's the time. So this is about the timing being right here. It's telling you you need to have faith and trust. But you need to not worry about it and just move on. 
So it's definitely coming. Whatever you're waiting for here is on its way. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Friday.